shooting this short video to just share with you some of the devastation here in Oklahoma City. It is beyond uh, anything you can imagine, and I don't want to pretend in any way that I'm not upset. Um, there are about 300,000 people in Oklahoma City without power right now and um, we're just fortunate enough to be safe here. I think pretty much all the trees in my front yard are goners and most of them on my street. The real tragedy is here in Oklahoma City in these historic neighborhoods. These were the oldest growth trees and a good number of them have come down and are coming down, it's still raining. Um, you can see just the sheer magnitude of what's gone on. I would show you the back, um, but our transformer blew last night and set off a fire um, in the house next door. So we have been instructed not to go into the backyard. We have no power and I'm going to guess we won't have power for quite a while. Um, there is just so much extensive damage across the city. So hopefully they are able to make it to the hospitals and to the places that really rely on power. Um, it's even a bit deceiving because it looks like some of these trees aren't down, but they are damaged at the top and they are felled. Um, it is just pretty unbelievable. We did not used to get these kind of ice storms. Um, and now in the past 10 years, we have. We had another one in 2007 that I thought was just pretty much it, but it's nothing compared to this one. So, talk about a test of a gardener's resilience. We'll see what can be done. But right now, um, we are just breathing and trying to remain calm and take care of one another and our neighbors and ourselves. So I'm gonna to try to keep you posted. Stuart and I will show you um, more extensive video footage to chronicle this event and hopefully how it transforms itself over time. But right now we're just relying on your prayers and patience and Mother Nature, um, and a pioneer spirit. So there you have it. We will just carry on. Uh, I'll be in touch soon. Thanks everyone who has contacted me with your loving messages. It is very, very much appreciated. Stay safe.